Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're going to get started now. Uh, my name is Carlos Contreras. I'd like to welcome all of you today. We're, as a college and a professional football fan, I'm really, really excited about this announcement. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking. I'm going to get to the to the real meat of the story here. So I'm gonna, it's my honor to introduce uh, some of our good friends that have come to San Antonio that are part of our partnership with San Antonio. Mr. Charlie Everson. Uh, we've talked for the last couple of weeks with the city about how San Antonio is the golden ticket of sports. That what this city has done um, over the last several decades uh, with the Spurs and across so many different platforms, obviously the Final Four, is a testament to what a city can do when it's really bought in culturally. So for us to be here, as evidenced by standing room only rooms like this, um, we're really excited to be here. Um, I'm also excited to be here because I just found out today is the one-year anniversary of uh, Mayor Nirenberg taking office, uh, as well as the 300th anniversary of San Antonio. Um, for us, numbers mean a lot because ultimately what we are offering is experience. Um, I had someone in my office when I found out that this was the 300th anniversary year of uh, of the mission in San Antonio, I asked someone in my office to pull the numbers on how many years of experience our team has in football, between our general managers and Bill Polian um, and our coaches. And um, we're a little bit older than San Antonio. Um, as of today, with the addition of the gentleman that you'll meet in a little while, we have 450 years of combined professional football experience. That number swells to over 550 when you add the college years of head coaches and executives in our league. Experience matters. What we are building here is about putting great, high-quality football on the field in the most professional manner possible. The reason we wanted to be in San Antonio is because we like being in the city of champions. You guys know how to put quality on the court, on the field, and we want to be a part of that. Football ultimately is local. It's about the local roots in the community. When we started talking to cities, we didn't send out RFPs. We didn't ask people to tell us their stories. We looked for cities that we believed represented what we're all about. And when I got the opportunity to meet your mayor and have conversations with him, the thing that I was struck with was not just the quality of the Alamo Dome, and the quality of what this league, uh, excuse me, what this city has to offer. It was the idea of what this city is building. 25,000 people last year came to live here. You guys are growing at a rate faster than any other city in the United States. That's something that we want to be a part of because that's what we're building as well. There are three things that we believe in, and we've taken them and we've turned them into phases. As we said at the launch of our league, that we have three stars on our logo. One is for the fans, one is for the players, and one is for the game. And so what we are doing in terms of the rollout of the league is three phases. The first is football. So between our launch on March 20th till the end of the uh, month of July, we're going to show you how we are going to put high quality football on the field. The first time in modern American history that a real group of football people will put real football on the field after the Super Bowl. The second phase will be players. Beginning in July, excuse me, beginning in August, we'll start walking you through what our process will be with players. How are we going to get the top players? Because I like what the mayor says about this not being a, this is a big league city that puts professional teams on the court. We will show you how we are going to give players the opportunity to shine. And the last thing is the fans. So after Thanksgiving, we'll, be going, we'll begin rolling out what we believe will be the most aggressive fan program in history. We don't see fans as fans. Fans are our investors. You invest emotionally, you invest financially, and you invest probably the most valuable thing, which is time. And in exchange, we want to reward you in a way that's never been done before. We're going to change the experience, but we're also going to change the relationship. We are deeply excited to be here. One of the things that uh, will get talked about, and the last thing I'm going to say before people that you, know, you really care about get up here and speak, one of the things that really matters to us is the idea of competition. And I've been told that, based on the reaction of the last 48 hours, that San Antonio plans on winning all the competitions. The big one right now is seat deposits. 
Now, we're not releasing numbers, but I will tell you that there are some fans in the Sunshine State and there's some fans in the Peach State that are driving some significant pre-sales on seats. And so uh, we've already gotten inundated with calls in the last couple of hours um, with the announcement forthcoming. But if you go to AAF.com, you can put down $50 for up to four seats as a seat deposit. And my guess, based on the room that I'm sitting in right now with all the people that I'm looking at, is that you guys will beat Florida's 24-hour mark as being the fastest to a number. Uh, but we'll see. I don't like messing with Texas, so I'll leave it at that. And I will turn you over to our most generous host and somebody that is really responsible for us coming here today, uh, Mayor Nuremberg. Good afternoon. Um, if you've been in the Alamo Dome lately and seen uh, the fast rise of the Roadrunners there in their home, you know that we in San Antonio are ready for some football. So thank you all for coming. This is an exciting announcement for football fans, our city, and for the Alamo Dome. I've often said that San Antonio is a true sports town, and I expect to us to demonstrate that again next year when the Alliance of American Football begins its season. After talking with Charlie, I was convinced that the Alliance is committed to serious football for serious fans, and the Alliance is a good fit for San Antonio. I'm sure, like me, you will like their approach, and this league brings the experience and commitment to the sport needed to make spring football an institution in the United States. The core vision of the Alliance is to create a dynamic relationship between fans, players, and the game. This commitment is to forging strong partnerships extended through the process in which the Alliance was, went, went about its selecting of its cities. And make no mistake, we are a big league city, and the Alliance is big league sports. The Alliance provides an opportunity for this city to have a professional football team we can call our own, and it's recognized the love and passion San Antonio has for the game. And we do look forward, and it's uh, the very few short months before kickoff, to showing the rest of the league how passionate, engaged, and exciting our fans are come kickoff in February 19. The Alliance is committed to making a positive impact in the community as well, and you'll hear more about that shortly. Alliance San Antonio will become an integral part of this city and will rally around and will support this team as they begin to hoist trophies throughout our streets. This will be the first time you have high-quality professional football led by football experts in the spring. And they recognize the importance of getting football right, especially in Texas, which is why you see names like Bill Polian, J.M. McKay, Tom Veet, Heinz Ward, and executives um, that you will see shortly uh, heading this team. Welcome, Alliance San Antonio. We look forward to the exciting football season ahead, and let's get this started. Congratulations, Charlie. Thank you. Uh, I talked too long before, so I'm not going to talk much now. I'm just going to introduce somebody who not only is one of the greatest football players I've ever seen play, but definitely the best Dancing with the Stars champion <laughs> of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, Heinz Ward. Welcome, welcome. I'm super excited to be here, man. Uh, today I get the honors to announce the, the head coach of your Alliance team here in San Antonio, man. And let me just tell you, you guys have a special man uh, as your new head coach. I mean, this coach, he played his college ball at the University of Alabama under legendary coach Bear Bryant. He joined the CFL as an assistant coach for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers and became the second youngest head coach in CFL history at the age of 33. He led Winnipeg to two Great Cup titles in three seasons, and he was offensive coordinator and quarterback coach at USC before heading to Oregon State to be their head coach for 15 seasons. In 99, he became the head coach of San Diego Chargers, where he led that team for three years. Now, during his uh, coaching career, at all ranks, he's proven to be a winner at every level. I mean, he's won bowl games. He's won numerous of championships. But let me tell you, this guy is a football genius in every aspect of the game. So wherever his passion is, uh, he brings success. And let me tell you, his passion to coach in our new league is right here in San Antonio. So please welcome to the podium uh, Coach Mike Riley, who's here with his lovely wife, Dee, right here. Thanks so much. Well, I am, uh, I 
I guess excited to be back. It's been a little bit of a, a little bit of a wait. Uh, my wife Dee is here today. Uh, we've had uh, well. First of all, I got to say I'm really excited about Alliance San Antonio. Uh, I'm ex proud to be a part of Charlie's vision uh, for spring football. I believe in it. We did it here. Been part of it before. Excited to do it here and, and to do it here in this place. Uh, you know, we have, you know, our, our deal ended in, in 92. We've been back every year since. Uh, we've loved it. Uh, believe in the city. We had great fans while we were here. We want to put together a great product. I was, uh, I'm real, from there, real excited about the people that uh, are kind of putting this thing together. The, J.K. McKay, I'm very thankful for him. Bill Polian, who I worked with years ago, guys like that heading it up. What a great group of uh, NFL players that surround this. Hines is a great example of that. Um, just, you know, I think that the, this thing is being put together um, on a very solid foundation. Um, lots of great ideas about how to go forward with a league like this and make it work for the game, the fans, the players, uh, and a real exciting venture. This is the place for me. I uh, love it. Uh, excited about being back, getting to go. We were supposed to play at one time the first game in the, in the Alamo Dome. So I've been waiting for that one for a while to get back to it <laughs> and looking forward to it. I'm also very, very excited uh, to introduce to you our new general manager. Uh, he needs no introduction in football, and especially in football in this state, which is so exciting also to be a part of again. Uh, but Daryl uh, grew up in upstate New York, uh, played at Syracuse, was a great player there, drafted in the second round. You know, and I was in pro football for a while, and the thing that I admire about guys in that league is those guys that last a while and play for a length of time, that is something special when you see that. This guy played a physical position for many, many years, playing 11 years in the NFL Super Bowl rings, brings great football expertise, uh, you know, and is fun to listen to now as an announcer uh, because he knows it. He's played it. He knows it. He, I'm really excited personally to work with him as we put together a great product for Alliance San Antonio and the new general manager here that I'm excited. Excited for you all to meet is Daryl Johnston. Moose. Uh, I'll probably echo a lot of the same things that, that Coach Riley just said, but uh, I, I, I am so excited to be a part of Alliance San Antonio and uh, very, very grateful for the opportunity, Charlie, uh, to kind of venture into a different arena in the football world. Uh, obviously, as a player and then a broadcaster, this is going to be much different. Uh, but I've been kind of researching this a little bit over the last couple of years, and, and what a tremendous opportunity. As Coach Riley said, the, the people that have been put together uh, in this league uh, in such a short amount of time speaks uh, of the quality of the vision that, that Charlie has in store for this league. Um, I love the the alliance factor about the players, the fans, and the game. Uh, I love this game of football. Uh, and to have the opportunity to maybe be a small part in helping uh, a young man get another shot back in the NFL, uh, because football's changed my life. Everything I, everything I have uh, in life, I kind of really owe to the game of football. Uh, it provided me an education at Syracuse University. It provided me a, a lifestyle that I could have only dreamed of. Uh, I met my wife in Dallas. Uh, my family is a result of, of the, the life path that God put me on uh, with the game of football. So uh, it's very important to me, um, the game itself. Uh, I, I'm really excited to see the city of San Antonio uh, and, and the relationship that we're going to create. Uh, I remember my days at St. Edwards University and how many people we met from San Antonio that would drive up for our training camp practices. And God, we had to be in that heat. I don't know. <laughs> they chose to be in that heat. So uh, obviously we, we, we know how much the game of football means here in the state of Texas and, and here in the city of San Antonio. Um, I always remember having the opportunity to visit with Jim Hazlitt uh, as, an, uh, as an analyst uh, with Fox. And we sat down after Katrina. And he was.
was really concerned about the team wanting to go back to New Orleans. They enjoyed their experience here in San Antonio so much when you welcomed them with open arms uh, as they got their city and their football team back together down in New Orleans. So I know the passion that the city has for the game of football, and I am so excited to be a part of that, and, and I'm going to do everything that I possibly can uh, to, to make the team here, uh, Alliance San Antonio, uh, a very respected team in this new league. Thank you. Um, when we uh, started talking about cities, I've been blessed with uh, access to some of the best advisors that the game of football has ever had to offer. And the state of Texas, one of its favorite sons, is one of our best advisors, um, which is Jerry Jones. And when I called Jerry and I asked him about uh, San Antonio, and I said, this is a city I really believe in, he said, just remember what I told you when we first met. The story he's referring to actually involves Bill Polian. I was a huge Bill uh, Buffalo Bills and Jim Kelly fan growing up. And I was fortunate enough to be at um, some of the Bills Super Bowls, which I guess I was also unfortunate to be at several of the Bills Super Bowls. <laughs> and as uh, Daryl and his brethren were <clears throat> murdering us on the field, I was distraught and on the verge of tears. And Jerry leaned down and in my ear he said, you know, you could just join the winning team. I think San Antonio is the winning team. I think that's what this is about. I think this is a city that is yearning to show the rest of the country what it is to be real football fans, and we hope to be a part of that messaging with you and bring a championship here. If you want to be a part of the championship, just go to AAF.com and purchase a seat deposit and be a part of the alliance. Um, we're going to break up, and we're going to do some uh, scrums so people can do interviews, but since that's way above my pay grade. I'm going to let Eric direct everyone as to where it is. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to be here. Thank you to the city council for taking a break. I don't know where the vote ended up, but it sounded very close based on what I was talking about, so good luck with that. I don't want to vote on my own financing. Um, Eric, take it away. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. So in about five minutes, we're going to have Charlie and Hines on stage. Uh, we're going to have Coach Riley and J.K. McKay off to my right. Uh, we're going to have Tom Beat and Daryl Johnson in the back, and the mayor will be taking questions from the hall.